Hello, I'm May from the Royal Parks Mission Invertebrate, a project that helps people to celebrate, discover and protect the invertebrates that call the Royal Parks their home. Today I'm going to show you how to build a bug hotel in a few easy steps. Make sure you have an adult with you as some of the materials may be heavy. So first off, what do we need? Hello, I'm going to show you how you can build a bug hotel in just a few easy steps. A bug hotel is a structure with lots of cracks and crevices, perfect for invertebrates and animals to hide in. So, we're going to use mainly natural materials. Now these materials that I'm using today, I found in my garden, shed, and just out on a walk now. So, I've got some dead leaves, some moss, dead wood, pine cones, bark, twigs and some dried vegetation as well which is great because it has some holes in which is perfect for invertebrates to hide in. So make sure you start with some level ground and then you can put bricks or anything else to sturdy the structure. Now my first layer you might be able to already guess is actually bits of my old Christmas tree from last year. Then I'm going to add the pine cones and next, the dead wood. Now remember, the main aim of a bug hotel is to create lots of nice cracks and crevices and shelter spots for invertebrates to hide in. So it doesn't need to be neat. They'll be happy either way. Then the twigs. And then we're going to layer on some dried moss. And then the leaves. And finally, I'm going to use these two empty and dead snail shells that I found. These holes are perfect for invertebrates to seek shelter in. Now, every hotel needs a roof. I found this slate in my shed and I'm going to use it as the roof of this bug hotel to keep the rain away. And there you have it, a sturdy bug hotel, perfect for its first guests. Thanks for watching. You can head to the Mission Invertebrate website and take a look at our social media platforms for more resources. Happy building.